Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader and focusing on self-awareness, execution, and direction. And today, we're going to talk about setting goals to the story. The reason why goals matter to a story is you have to tell them to other people. And you really communicate through a narrative. You don't communicate through facts. And you're going to leave this video with an exercise that'll help you do that. So you'll be able to communicate things in an impactful way to get things done. This was personally frustrating to me because early in my career, I would set up goals for other people to follow. And I would always wonder why after nights and nights of research and talking to other people and trying to make things make sense based on the language and vocabulary of the company that no one really remembered what I said or created a narrative around it. Because that's what's frustrating. If you don't create the narrative, somebody else will. Why is the narrative important? The narrative is important because our minds live and breathe through story. We're not robots, and because we're not robots, we need a narrative to help keep the facts in line. You ever wonder why you remember your childhood bedtime stories? Well, it's because the theory is proven. Stories help us remember and they give us heuristics that we can use as we move forward with our goals and projects. How do you structure a narrative? You structure a narrative just like you heard those bedtime stories when you were a kid. You have the first act that introduces the hero, the second act that puts the hero in trouble, and the third act where the hero saves the day. And if you structure your goals and ideas in that way, You'll have more people listening and more importantly, remembering what your point of view is and what you're trying to get done. How do you put that all together with the goals in, in order to make sense? You make that make sense by simply pulling it out, right? And breaking that goal down into pieces, smaller pieces. And it should be able to have somebody follow along. People should be able to spit out that goal or narrative in a way that they can remember without you having any prompting. That's how you know you have a good story, when people remember it and you don't even have to repeat it. So how do you do this with your goals right now? You wanna change your goals into a story. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do this through self-awareness, execution, and direction. Self-awareness, you have to be aware of the power of the narrative. If there's one thing I'm going to repeat over and over and over, is, is the power of story. It helps us remember, it helps us minimize, and it helps us keep in line the ideas that we present. And if you don't present them in a way that makes sense, then again, other people are going to inject their own narrative into what you're doing and potentially derail your vision. If your vision is important, you need to be aware of the power of a narrative. How do you execute on that? I don't recommend doing this by the seat of your pants because if there's anything worse than just spitting out your goals factually, it's trying to create a narrative on the fly and you don't know what you're doing. You're going to come across as incompetent and insincere and those are two of the worst things you can be as a leader. How are we going to execute this? Well, you'll execute it by doing what Amazon calls the blog post strategy. You're going to take your goal and write it in that three act structure. Remember act one being introducing the hero or the project. Act two, putting the project in trouble. What are the stakes and laying them out? And act three, having the project or the project be a hero. And you want to write that out. And then you're going to present it to the rest of your team. And when you present it to the rest of your team, ask what did they get out of it? And if it's not somewhat aligned, you know you have work to do. Because the idea, again, is to make sure that the goal of whatever your project or product is, is crystal clear. And how do you direct that? Well, you have to make sure that your goal is aligned. In order to make sure your goal is aligned with what has to be done, you do need to go out and you need to do the research. You can't just create a story from thin air. You need to go out and you need to get this research done. And that'll tell you on another level, 
what language and attitudes you need to present in your blog post in order to get things done. So, to bundle this back up, you need to be aware of the narrative you're presenting. To execute, you need to make sure you write in a blog post and then distribute it amongst your team to make sure they understand what you're trying to get across. And then for direction, you need to make sure you talk to people around. You need to do the research to make sure they're using the right language to communicate your point. Oh,